two, again, what I like what actually Netflix did today was reclaim. You see how it reclaimed here last time? This whole rising support here reclaimed and started going higher. So it, it, it flushed below and reclaimed it. So Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, happy Thursday, everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. I uh, hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, you know, things sometimes do play out uh, like your game plan. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. Q's need to defend uh, this level here three times in a row. We held uh, the two, you know, 280, 280, 283 level. Uh, we talked about the ramifications. The longer the, you know, the bulls uh, couldn't reclaim the five-day moving average, we were probably going to go down to the 50. And it kind of played out that way uh, pretty, uh, pretty seamlessly. Um, you know, very aggressive pivots. We'll talk about this uh, in a few minutes on the pivot feed. But we talked about them last night. Uh, we talked about beyond uh, setting up to the downside. And NVIDIA setting up to the downside. Um, you know, I usually don't give out prices on the YouTube feed. But I, I said this three times yesterday. This 3160 level. Uh, 3160 level on, on Amazon was a big number. It held it three times. You know, stock you know got hit for like four, 45 points today. So I, I think the bulls, uh, the, I, I think the bears did a great job this morning. Okay, uh, they they confirmed uh, all those levels that we talked about on the queues, and you know we went straight down to the 50-day moving average. You got to give uh, the bulls a, a, a really good kudos, kind of fighting off the mat, right? Just kind of getting off the canvas like Rocky Balboa in the 12th round and fighting off the mat. Uh, and not only uh, reclaiming, you know, this rising 20-day support, they tried to reclaim the five-day as well, which is incredibly uh, bullish. Now, again, you could turn around and say, well, this was the case because, uh, you know, Pelosi turned around and said, look, they're ironing out the details. What, what, whatever you want. It, it doesn't make a difference uh, how a stock or an ETF or an index gets to where it needs to get. The most important part is it got it got there, right? And bulls uh, held the 50-day moving average, uh, reclaimed this rising wedge that finally broke the levy today, that had these really aggressive washes, and also tried to reclaim the five. So what we need to happen technically tomorrow, and, this, and these are baby steps, okay? We're not talking about uh, reclaiming this 288 level, which is macro with the bulls need for a push back to the highs, but at least for the bulls, what they need to do is reclaim 286. 286 is the top of this declining channel uh, on the queues. It's also confirming today's highs. And if you were looking at charts today, you're going to see a lot of names that did very well, okay? But it's not the names that you think of normally. It's the names that have these crazy recent runs, like a Snow, for example, or recent IPOs, or a, or a letter U, right? Or a letter U, or a Beam. Uh, these stocks have a lot of strength. And again, it does really show that when speculation money is still there, and fear is not an issue, technical is going to work out, but also speculation money continues to pour in because, again, this still is overall, quote unquote, uh, a bull market. So we have uh, the last uh, presidential debate tonight. Okay. Um, you know, we only have what, 10, 12 days uh, left to election day. Again, the most important part is if you're unhappy with the current situation, vote. Okay. If you are happy with the current situation, vote. But again, if you don't vote, uh, you can't sit there and bellyache and say, oh, this sucks, this sucks. Again, every vote counts. It might not seem like a big deal for you that your individual vote counts, but you never know, right? You absolutely never know. And as far as uh, we all can see, it looks like a pretty uh, pretty dead, dead heap. So every vote uh, is going to count. Uh, Tesla today you know, pretty much became a non-event. If you look at uh, what Tesla did uh, pretty much uh, on the 60 minute channel today. Nothing really, right? Nothing really uh, didn't really give a trade anywhere. You know, it was stuck in this channel uh, the whole day. If you look at, um, you know, the macro picture uh, on Tesla, you know, it's going to need, it's going to need some time to kind of play itself out. Again, I'm, you know, kind of delta neutral uh, on the name right now. It's above the 10 day moving average and it's kind of above the five day. But again, it wasn't really a lot of enthusiasm here. So until uh, Tesla takes out the channel up here or takes out the channel down there, it's probably going to cause a lot of quote unquote chop. So there's going to be a lot of dead money there. Um, I think what's important for tomorrow's session is maybe, again, if we do have an update, and again, uh, technically, unless again, some 
crazy curveball comes out uh, after you know, after the close or tomorrow morning, uh, you know, you have to assume, well, not assume, but you have to kind of play for uh, a bounce, right? Some sort of bounce. And you want to look at names uh, that held today, right? Maybe like a Zoom that held its rising support and, you know, great job on Zoom to reclaim the 10-day moving average. Even a stock like DraftKings, for God's sake, right? DraftKings has had a a, a tremendous move down, finally found some area of support in the long term. Again, again, you can see it keeps on getting rejected off this orange line, which is the five day. But again, if it reclaims the five day tomorrow, maybe it finally runs back to this 45, 46 area. So again, nobody's looking to reinvent the wheel. Again, we're just taking it day by day, uh, trade by trade, and hour by hour, minute by minute, just basically what we're seeing from the technical cases. Like, for example, I was pretty much sell bias the last couple of days. And now I'm kind of delta neutral to buy bias going into tomorrow because we got the washes today. We got the washes yesterday. Uh, we got the stocks that had these big, big runs that finally came back into support. We got all that. So the, the fact that the bulls uh, did hold support, held some levels of interest, reclaimed kind of the five-day moving average, at least on the queues. I, I want to give the bulls at least the benefit of the doubt tomorrow. Okay. Uh, again, we're mostly still in scalp mode. Uh, nobody's trying to figure out what's going to happen more than, you know, one trade at a time. This is, again, so much stuff going on in the, in the world with stimulus and with COVID. And again, ridiculous cases of COVID coming back. Uh, again, election coming back in the next 10, 12 days. And does anybody really think uh, after the poll numbers come in that a winner is actually announced? Do you think there's, there's going to be no controversy, right? So it's going to be prolonged. So we have to see... Uh, where the market is going to go after the election day, it's very, very tough to put any long-term money at work without knowing exactly what is about to happen. Who is going to be uh, behind the steering wheel driving us uh, into 2021? So it's going to be very, very important. For now, again, scalp mode, uh, day by day, trade by trade. Uh, so again, we, we got the trades that we wanted today. Um, you know, we, we pretty much, you know, we pretty much had bias to the downside, you know, NVIDIA, Beyond, Dog, Amazon. Uh, it was very, very, you know, you, you could see it kind of early play out that the stocks that were strong, like for example, I really liked Baidu from yesterday, right? And I talked about uh, 37, 39 big spots, big out of the money call buying yesterday. Baidu didn't even, even do anything, right? You literally did not do anything. So when you have a strong stock like Baidu that couldn't rally, we turned around, we said this in the live webinar, I'm like, well, you, you got to start looking to the downside, just waiting for everything to confirm. And the most amazing part about today's session was nothing was really going on for the first like 40 minutes. And then like literally, you know, somebody turned on the faucet. We were waiting for these downward channels some really, really big moves. So let's talk about them right now, guys. So uh, obviously Baidu never came close to confirming. Uh, again, we talked about in the video last night, the, the, the three stocks we covered last night in the video were NVIDIA, BYND, and Amazon. Amazon, I gave you the specific numbers, 3160. Uh, it, it, you know, again, a $45 flush, but let's talk about them one by one. Uh, 536, if it builds below, can flush macro. Uh, here was NVIDIA, right? Here was NVIDIA, here's the 536, the rising wedge. Once it broke that, went all the way down to 529. Really big move there. As soon as the Qs collapsed below that 283 level, so did everything else. Uh, Beyond was my big winner today. Uh, BYND 7550, 75. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, here is BYND. Right. So here is the 75. Again, we discussed this for a couple of days. Went went all the way down. Uh, to 67 change. Nice move there as well. Uh, Deputy dog or dog or blah, 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 whatever you want to call it. Uh, again, not the big, biggest move in the world, but 100 if it builds below can flush. Uh, here was dog, right? Here's the 100 flush, right? Here's the 100 flush. Uh, pretty much closed at the low of the day. This one did not actually even attempt the rally back. But again, not every single trade needs to be $15. Uh, Amazon was the big one right here. 3160 held three times. If it builds below, can flush. Uh, here was Amazon, right? Here was the 3160. 3160 was the low from last Friday. 3160 was the low from yesterday. And again, again, when I say, when I tell new traders, guys, just really understand what I'm saying. There's no point to have an argument with somebody on the other side of your trade, okay? If technical analysis says this is the level, this is the level, okay? You, you don't need to sit there and try to tell a human being they're wrong, okay? You're either going to make money in the trade or not, okay? So it's very, very important. Just let the market trade. Now, you don't need to be right every single trade. Just You don't have to argue with everybody in every single trade. Nobody's saying 
Amazon's not the greatest thing since sliced bread, but peep, there's a big difference between traders and investors. Today, we were traders on Amazon. You know, if you are an investor in Amazon, this doesn't apply to you. Don't worry, the stock will be higher than you probably paid for it in any given time over the last year. But the moral of the story is traders and investors, they're speaking two different languages. Please don't confuse the two. So 3160 broke down and traded right to the low here of the October 6 lows all the way down to 3120. So really nice move uh, on Amazon. Uh, Apple, the funny thing is, again, this is when you, you, you again, this is talking about getting data. Uh, we, you know, again, as soon as Apple got upgraded today, um, and it got upgraded today, it came nowhere near the macro area. We knew everything was gonna be to the downside. So it never came even close. Uh, Netflix for experienced traders only, 48, 488 held four times pre-market. Again, collecting data, pre-market data is, is in very, very important. Uh, after hours data is much data, right? That's the whole point of gathering information. The more you have in front of you, the better choices and the better, um, the better opinions you can really consume. Uh, if it builds below, can give a quick flush. Uh, new traders stay away. Because again, the reason why I said new traders stay away, because again, think about this, guys. Netflix is down from you know, from 557 to 488, right? So again, it's not the easiest trade in the world, but you know, Netflix did actually what it did had to do. Um, did had to do, say that five times fast. Uh, took out the 488, here's a 488 right here. Took out this whole 488, went all the way down to uh, 482. Again, what I like what actually Netflix did today was reclaim, you see how it reclaimed here last time? This whole rising support here reclaimed and started going higher. So it, it, it flushed below and reclaimed that. So. Look how many days in a row Netflix is down. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days in a row. It'll be very interesting to see if Netflix can open lower and wash out tomorrow morning and kind of hold today's lows and kind of go red to green. Could be a very interesting trade back to the upside uh, for a you know good dead cat bounce. Again, nobody's talking it's gonna go back to 560, but hell, the stock is down from 572 uh, to 482. You tell me the stock can't get back to 590, you know, 595, 590, uh, 495, 500, right? Definitely good for a dead cap bounce. So I want to keep an eye on that for tomorrow. Uh, Roku, again, this is where we knew the stocks just weren't strong. Um, this wasn't actually the pivot. I corrected it up here. Uh, it was actually around 29, only went up about a dollar, uh, even less than a dollar, nothing there. Uh, Facebook went pre-market, uh, 279 needs to build, rejected three times pre-market. Uh, here was Facebook, so here was the 79, right? Here's the 79, 79, 79. It spiked up pre-market on WhatsApp News uh, to 382, uh, 282, excuse me. Um, and then it came right back in. This is, again, this is why you knew uh, the market was going to be very, very weak. Uh, ADI never came close. Uh, again, this is what I mean. It only ran up like you know 50 cents a dollar. Not a big move there. Uh, take on the way down. Amazon got murdered. Uh, Beyond, beautiful move on Beyond. DDOG, take on the way down. Great trade on NVIDIA. Again, fantastic pulls. Really, really fantastic pulls. And basically what I just mentioned on Netflix, that's kind of what I was saying, you know, Pivot, uh, that's kind of what I was talking about later in the day. It obviously just never got there. But again, we should definitely watch uh, Netflix, uh, if not for tomorrow, uh, then definitely for the next couple of days. So I, again, I want to give the Bulls, uh, I definitely want to give the Bulls uh, the benefit of the doubt tomorrow. Uh, you know, we'll see how the market opens up. We'll see how much value, again, from now to the election. Again, just tread water, um, you know, trade you know, trade value only. There are good value trades throughout the day. The most important part, just take it one trade at a time. Guys, God bless. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow.